Welcome back to another step-by-step -step Monday makeup lesson. In each one of these videos, we cover a new topic in this tutorial, but you can check out the full playlist by clicking up here or checking out the description box. And if you're new here, make sure to press subscribe. And now let's get started with the next step. So we've worked with the texture and the tone of the skin, and now we're gonna apply the actual foundation itself. Now, I know a lot of these steps will feel like, why do we have to do them? And even sometimes I don't bother doing them either, but they do give your foundation a little helping hand. So if it's for a special occasion, or maybe you just need the extra help, doing those previous steps steps will make a massive difference. But let's just move on to applying the foundation. So my favorite way to apply foundation, and everyone's a little different, is I apply it with a flat brush and then I use a blending brush to buff it in. Now you can swap out this brush for maybe using your fingertips and you can swap out this brush for a damp sponge. Now before I get into applying the foundation, I also have a couple of rules about how I apply it. So I always think of my face in two circles. So we have the inner circle from the eyes around this area and then the outer circle which is the rest of the face. The typical way that you apply foundation is to apply it from the center out. But I find you end up with a lot of makeup in here, especially because I end up applying concealer underneath my eyes and this whole area gets a little extra powder as well. So using too much foundation can just be over the top. So when I apply my foundation, I actually start from the edge of the inner circle and then blend out and just use a little less on your brush as well. This can make a massive difference. So I'm going to take my foundation and I pump a little bit on the back of my hand. I usually use like two pumps at a time. And the reason I put it on the back of my hand and not on the brush is actually to protect protect the brush more than anything. You don't want to pump your foundation directly onto your brushes. It's not a good idea and it will damage them over time. And also applying it on the back of your hand gives you a little bit more control over how much you apply. So you're gonna dip it in and I dip it in the edge. Then we're gonna to start to apply it. So I'm starting on the very edge of the inner circle and I work this through. And I use little sweeping motions keeping them quite short in some areas and long in others depending on how much coverage I want. I try to keep the brush quite smooth along the skin, so I'm not coming at the skin like this and pushing the brush down. I'm keeping it quite flat against the skin, so the bristles aren't really moving too much. And then we can come within the inner circle, but I completely avoid underneath the eyes. And I want you guys to pay close attention to how you're actually applying your product. Even try recording yourself applying your makeup. Sometimes you don't know you're doing something until it's pointed out to you. I do, however, apply a little bit on the lids, it's just the under eye that I avoid. A couple of areas that you wanna watch out for when you're applying your makeup is around the eyebrows. So whether you've filled them in or you're waiting to fill them in, I always like to make sure that I get really close to them. That's why I use a flat brush. So what I do is I do little sweeping motions, kind of in the direction of the hair growth, just so I'm hitting just underneath the hairs. This will just make sure you don't have a gap between your brows and your foundation. And the same goes around the hairline. So what I tend to do is I turn the brush really flat and I just kind of work it into the hairline. You don't wanna get it on your hair. You're kind of just sweeping in that area to make sure it's nice and blended. And there isn't too much product in your brush at this stage either. So what I do with my blending brush now, because this looks pretty even, but it could be better, is I take whatever's left over on my hand. I just kind of swirl my brush in there just to get a little bit of product. It's not about reapplying or anything. It's just picking up what's ever left over. And then I do little stippling motions. And what this will do is just blend out that foundation, give us a little bit more of an even finish. But then there's also something called a buffing motion. The buffing motion is a little swirl like this, but not everybody can do that. If you have sensitive skin, particularly if it's sensitive to the touch and it can get quite red, the same goes for anybody who has dryness on the skin because this little buffing motion will kind of lift up any of those little dry patches. So we don't want that either. You want to be quite light-handed with the brush. We're not trying to put too much pressure on it. Just let the bristles do their work. Now what I want you guys to do is to take a good look at your skin, see if you need to maybe reapply some areas that you might have missed, or maybe you need to buff a little bit more, and also pay attention to any areas that don't have the coverage that you want. So if you have any blemishes that are still showing through or any discoloration, don't panic, because then we're gonna use concealer and powder to make sure that we get full coverage from it. I always think less is more when it comes to foundation. There's so many other things that you can add on to improve the look of your foundation. Foundation really is just there to create an even base for us to continue working with. And that's the step complete, but make sure to check back next Monday for the next step. But as always, I am here to help. So if you have any problems with this, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Before you go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.